Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I will show you how we can do Mongo setup in Golang. Friends, Mongo is a third party system. So, to connect our application with Mongo, first of all, we have to start Mongo server. To start Mongo server, here I am using Docker. Here you can see that Mongo has been installed here. So, simply we have to click on this button start. When we click on this button, Mongo server has been started. Now, we will go to VS Code. Here, we write our code to create a client. As we know that, to send some request to the Mongo server, we need a client. There are two ways in which we can connect or we can send some request to the Mongo client. One is to use terminal and second one is to use application or we can say that write a application where we can create a client to interact with the mongo server so basically here we write our code in golang to create a client to connect with the mongo server that we have started in docker so let us start writing the code first of all we have to declare the package package main then we have to import some packages we have to print something so let us first of all import print then at some places we need time so let us import time in an application we need some uh, components of context also so let us import context also now we will import mongo package to create a client so for that go dot mongodb dot org slash mongo driver slash mongo now we have to import another component so for that options and we have to import one more component of this so let us import it read preference now let us start writing our main function so if you type simply f main it will create a very basic structure of the main function then First of all, here we have to create a variable to store the URL of Mongo server. So, URI, let us use short end notation, then Mongo DB local host. 27017 then here we have to create a context so context as uh, the name of this package is context so we cannot use this as a variable so here we are doing one more mistake here we have to use basically parenthesis not this curly bracket so let us use parenthesis now you can see that some error is there like fmt imported but not used so as we will use these uh, uh, packages in our application, the error will be removed. So now let us use this context dot with timeout. So basically we want to create a context with timeout. Here we cannot uh, take the same name as the package name is also same. So let us rename it as 
एप कॉन्टेक्स्ट एप सी टी एक्स हेयर बेसिकली वी हैव टू पास टू वेरिएबल वन इज कॉन्टेक्स्ट डॉट बैकग्राउंड एंड सेकेंड वन इज द टाइम सो बेसिकली लेटेस्ट टेक टाइम एज थर्टी सेकेंड दिस इज बेसिकली द टाइम लिमिट लेटेस्ट टेक इट एज थर्टी सेकेंड नाउ लेट एस क्रिएट अ क्लाइंट यूजिंग मोंगो पैकेज सो फॉर दैट मोंगो डॉट कनेक्ट बेसिकली देर इज अ फंक्शन इन दिस मोंगो डॉट कनेक्ट विच इज विच इज नॉट सजेस्टिंग एयर सो फॉर दैट वी हैव टू रन अ कमांड एयर गो मॉड इन इट हेयर यू आर नॉट सींग एनी थिंग एयर बट इफ यू रन दिस कमांड सो इट विल क्रिएट अ मॉड्यूल Let us name the module as Mongo Data. Now it is suggesting to run another command, go mod td. As we have run this command, you can see that go dot mod file has been created here. So again, let us run this command, go mod td. When we run this command, we can see that it is doing something like finding the modules. Basically, it is trying to find these three modules. Now it is showing like found. Found, found. So basically, it has found all these three modules which were required in our application. Now I think we are able to use these uh, packages. So let us create a client mongo dot here we can see a method connect now basically we have to pass two parameter here one is the context and second parameter is the options dot client dot app uri so and in this app uri argument we have to pass the uri of the mongo server so it is suggesting uri as the first suggestion now basically we have to handle this error which is being returned here so if connect error if connect error is not equal to nil so in that case basically we will panic it so that the application will be terminated here panic connect error now we will be using this this client to send the request so let us send this request simply client dot there is a method in this client which is ping <clears throat> here in this uh, methods argument we have to pass context here so we will simply pass app context and here also you can see that we have to pass app context and now we have to pass another parameter read preference primary then basically this ping method will return two things the first thing uh, the only one thing basically it will return which is a uh, error an error so ping error now we have to handle this error if ping error is not equal to nil so in that case again we have to panic it so panic ping error but if there is no error and application successfully passes these lines so in that case we will simply print fmt dot 
println connected successfully or uh, application application connected to mongo db success fully now basically we have to uh, close the connection so for that let us create a function so basically here we will create a function what happens when we perform some operation to the database then first of all we have to create an, a connection then after performing that operation we have to close that connection so basically we have to write a function here to close the connection so we will be writing here an anonymous function client dot disconnect so in this basically we have to pass the context which is app context and it will show basically it will return some error so let us name the error as uh, dis dis connect error if disconnect error is not equal to nil so in that case we have to panic it disconnect error now it is showing some warning so basically we have to call this function as we are expecting to execute this function at the end so basically we have to use a keyboard buffer basically it will wait for the surrounding function to complete then only this function will be executed after the execution of this function we can close the context so to close the context we can simply call this function so basically we can see that this is the function cancel function so for that simply call cancel again as we are expecting to execute this cancel function after execution of this function so again let us call this defer so our application is now ready so let us run this application simply first of all clear this uh, window then let us run the code go run space then dot when we run this code we can see that application connected mongodb successfully so this way we can create a connection to the mongodb so now i think uh, this video is completed that's all for this video thanks